hello everyone and welcome back to the AMS tutorial today we will learn that how we can uh, we can check our energy levels of our device which was based on the fluoroscite solar cells uh, in the previous tutorial we have learned that how we can put the ambience condition uh, then we have also seen that how we can load our uh, our device which were added as a separate layers let's say we have uh, in this case the planner structure of the first kite and that was based on ATL titania and the intrinsic a material which was perovskite in this case CH3 NH3 PBI3 methyl ammonium lead iodide and we have spiro as a whole transporting uh, material so if we have these uh, materials in our device and we run it let's say wait for a few minutes a few seconds and then check the uh, JV curve in the previous uh, lecture we have seen that how we can we can uh, transport this data uh, from here to the origin pro uh, today we will see that what uh, what are the energy levels or energy band of our uh, device let's say we can see here so in, in the x-axis this shows the the position of our our material or the what was the uh, for example the thickness of the titania uh, the thickness of the perovskite and the thickness of the spiral so it shows that in the micrometers and in this in the y-axis it shows the energy levels of the materials so let's say we copy it copy data and let's say put and analyze it and the origin and for example we passed it over here so if we can see here we have four columns each column one is uh, the position uh, of our device uh, it is round about uh, in this case if we see uh, let's say over here if we see this is uh, like 0 0.02 micrometers and this is the thickness is 0 0.35 micrometer and spiral is 0 0.15 uh, micrometer so as a uh, if we add these uh, values so we will get around about 0 0.52 um, uh, micrometers so this is actually the position of uh, each material so that shows over here the position which is uh, in this case automatically taken as a 0.52 or the position as a whole and the first column is uh, referred to the conduction band of the uh, of the materials and the second is the valence band and uh, the third one is the fermi level of the uh, uh, for the conduction band or uh, near to the a conduction band and this is the Fermi level near to the valence band so let's say we can we draw it so uh, let's check it that how it will be uh, in our origin let's see plotted in the line so this is actually the real uh, band or energy band of our device uh, in this or in the left side it represents the atl and at the right side it represents the the position of the htm or the spiral in this case and at the middle it represents the fluoroscite or the active layer and for example uh, if we want to make it more visual so let's say uh, make it a little bit let's see check it first 
select the scale start from 0 to let's say we have uh, 0 0.52 micrometers so uh, let's check it like this a for example in the vertical axis we have uh, 3.5 minus 3.5 to plus 3.5 uh, this is okay I think this is okay and uh, what else okay now make it more visual or we can improve or increase the thickness so that we can see it let's say like this so now we can describe uh, let's say I have this uh, uh, a little bit more, let's see, make it more clear. Uh, make it bold and so that you can see here also 24 and bold. Make it this. A little bit okay I think now we can we can see it okay now we can describe this uh, in such a way that uh, wait a minute okay what here now uh, the region the region over here for example I draw a line uh, from here to here so that we can check okay this line will represent uh, so make it push, dotted dotted these dotted lines represent the region of the ETL so this is actually the ETL and so let's say I, I add some ETL so this portion is actually for the ETL I will point out with the arrow let's say this uh, arrow is uh, represented by a color different color it's a blue color so this region is actually the ETL and over here from here to okay so in this portion over here like uh, 0 0.37 I think it will be around about 0 0.37 okay this is uh, actually the perovskite region i will represent it okay this region is actually uh, the perovskite region from here to here this is the perovskite okay let's say name it so that we can this is actually I will call it active active layer okay so in the and the other region is actually the spiral and this is around about 0 0.5 let's say consider this is uh, Control C V and check it over here. Zero point five two maybe over here. I think so. This region is wait, what did it do? Okay. Over here. This region is actually the HTL and means in this case there is a whole transporting uh, layer spiral 
so this shows the energy level of our, our device now if we can see over here and we may know that uh, when we have the Fermi level near to the uh, to the valence pan we can call that uh, material uh, as a p type material and if we have the fermi level uh, near to the conduction band then we can, we can call that uh, material as n type and for example if both are uh, at the similar position so we can call that intrinsic means that may, may have both uh, properties n type and p type so let's say uh, over here if we see uh, at the region of the ATL so the conduction band is very near to the uh, sorry the Fermi level or uh, uh, it is EFN the Fermi level for the conduction band that is uh, near to the uh, to the conduction band of that uh, material let's say ATL so this is this is considered as a n type material and at the right side if we see uh, the valence band of our uh, for fermi level that is near to the valence band of the material so that is considered as a p type so these material are p type which is uh, the whole transporting material and these are the n type materials which is known as etl and if we check the active layer so the Active layer actually the region is uh, for the Fermi level for the conduction bed is almost uh, for the uh, uh, almost the, uh, for the for the valence band as well as for the conduction band is the same. So we record this region as a uh, intrinsic uh, semiconductor. So this is uh, all about the energy band, and we can then analyze how. Uh, we can improve these. This is all the, these band levels are. Uh, if we remember in the first uh, n band condition, so we talk about the uh, contacts. So these is uh, these are actually the Shockley contacts. We can improve that to the uh, to some level to improve the charge uh, carriers or collection efficiency, and we will see that in coming videos. And Please like, share and subscribe and if you, if you have any question you can write me in the comments box. Uh, thank you so much.